Can someone please answer one question for me? Why are we buying toilet paper? How is that connected to coronavirus? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, this video is going to be as brief as possible. I'm going to try to achieve that. So, first of all, please ignore my face, my puffy, no makeup face. I have been stuck at home all weekend thanks to coronavirus. No movement, social distancing. So, churches are closed. So, I couldn't go to church today. I've just been home all weekend, hence my face. So, this video, I'm going to just talk about what we can do. Let's say it's a pandemic, an epidemic, and we are stuck at home, no movement. And you need to take care of your hair what do you need to do in that situation that's the essence of this video so um, first thing first you know very well that it has to be like DIY all the way I'm just going to give you guys four tips or maybe four or five tips on things you can do to keep your hair thriving this period let's say you're someone who always goes to the salon and you have a stylist but because of the restri uh, movement restriction you're stuck at home and you can't get your stylist i'm going to tell you guys how to keep your hair popping in this period so first thing first you have to learn how to wash your hair yourself I have videos on, I have a complete video on my wash day routine. My complete wash day routine is somewhere in one of my old videos. You can check that out. I'm just going to highlight, just give you the steps on what to do when you want to wash your hair. First thing first, you need to detangle your hair. I also have a video on how to detangle your hair thoroughly. It's important to detangle your hair before you start washing. Please don't wash your hair when it's tangled. If you wash your hair when it's tangled, I am so sorry because you're going to lose half of your hair. Trust me when I say as long as your hair is as nappy as mine or close, you're going to lose your hair if you wash your hair tangled. So first thing first, detangle your hair. Okay, and what's the next thing to do before you wash your hair? You have to pre-pull. I like to pre-pull with butter or oil. You can pre-pull with a conditioner, you can pre-pull with a deep conditioner, you can pre-pull with water if you want, but it's important to, what, no, water won't work. Well, if the water contains oils and some leave-in conditioner, yes, that might work. The essence of pre-pulling is to keep your hair moisturized after washing, because most times when you wash your hair, your hair is very dry afterwards. So to prevent that, we have to pre-pull our hair before we wash it. That's the essence of pre -pulling. So I'm just giving the steps for washing day. So we are still on the first step, right? So the first step is you have to learn how to wash your hair yourself. And under washing your hair yourself, the first thing is to detangle your hair thoroughly. The second thing is to pre -pull your hair. And of course, the third thing is to wash your hair. For me, I always wash my hair in sections. And I advise you to do the same. If your hair is as full as mine, you can wash it in as much as six or eight sections or even ten as much as you can handle. For me, I always wash my hair in six sessions. If your hair is not as full and as voluminous as mine, you can wash your hair in like four sessions. So basically, you just divide your hair into six or four. You mat it or you twist it, and then you wash it, concentrating on the roots, and then the sod that comes out from the root, basically just wash the remaining parts of hair. That way, the reason why we wash our hair in sections is that your hair doesn't get all tangled up when, it's, when you're done washing. Trust me, if you just wash your hair without washing in sections, your hair is first of all is going to shrink, and second of all, it's going to really, really tangle up. So I have given you the steps for washing your hair. And the second point is deep conditioner if you are an african if you have black hair if you have kinky hair deep conditioning it is so important it is as important as stew is to white rice you cannot eat white rice without a sauce or without a stew so deep conditioner is so important do not just wash don't just wash your hair and then go and do whatever you want to do with the hair no please deep condition your hair you can either do protein deep conditioning or moisture deep conditioning, depend on the, depends on the condition your hair is in. Or you can do both. For me, I mostly do both. So protein, balance between protein and moisture. I love to do that. But when my hair starts looking so strong and so hard, 
I just push protein and sun and concentrate on moisture. See, it all depends on um the state of your hair. So I'm going to give you quick deep conditioning tips that you could use at home in times like this. You're stuck at home, you can't get to your stylist, and you want to deep condition in your hair. First of all, I have a video on DIY deep conditioner. It is made with five ingredients that you have in your pantry: lemon, honey, mayonnaise, banana, and what else? olive oil that's it you can substitute the banana for avocado with avocado you can substitute with avocado avocado is fantastic on the hair too just blend everything boom you have a deep conditioner a fantastic deep conditioner if if it's if you think that's not enough you can even go ahead and even add shea butter like sometimes actually add shea butter to mine so you just like blend everything together and then use it to deep condition your hair so i have a video on the diy deep conditioner that i think is like two or three or four videos back just go down there you see how i did it how i prepared it and how i used it it is fantastic it's something you can do at home easily you're stuck at home you can't go anywhere and you want to infuse that delicious moisture into your hair this is a good one if the, if you think that's too much stress please make sure you have a store-bought diy a store-bought deep conditioner at home that you can just apply that one yourself very important apply deep conditioner after you've washed your hair in clean hair second of all make sure you leave it on your hair um for at least an hour with your shower cap on for at least an hour if you have a steaming cap use a steaming cap to steam your hair to enable it to work thoroughly to condition your hair especially the roots before you wash it off don't put a deep conditioner in your hair and wash it off immediately some people wash it off after 30 minutes 45 minutes whatever works for you for personally i wash my deep conditioner off after one hour and after i have used heat i mean you can see my hair this hair is this hair is plenty if i losing my hair is like this this hair is plenty so i always use my steaming cap and my deep conditioner and let's say you don't have a deep conditioner you don't want to go through the stress of making the diy you don't have a stop body deep conditioner but you have a regular conditioner and that thing you can do is get your regular conditioner just add some conditioning um oils some conditioning natural oils like melted shea butter or coconut oil or palm kernel oil just add some of those oils in your regular conditioner after washing your hair apply it to your washed hair mat your hair or twist your hair pack it up and wear your shower cap and leave it in for like an hour then wash your hair it is also okay so we are done with the second step the first step was what wash your hair yourself the second one was what deep condition your hair and the third thing i'm going to talk about is diy styling so i also have three i think three or four about three or four videos on how i style my hair so I have two videos on updo, something like what I have on right now. And I have another video on something I did with, I can't, I don't really know what's called that one, but that was really, really beautiful. Then I also have one on twists. So you can check them out. You, for DIY styling, choose a style that is, that first of all, that is low, low maintenance. For me, personally, I would always recommend a high bun. Ta -da. I love my high bun first but um, if I wanted to make a high bun that is low maintenance I'm not going to do this one you check out the videos I have already the tips of my hair were tucked in and all that that is fantastic that is a fantastic low manipulation DIY high bun if you make a good high bun you don't, you don't even need to touch it for two weeks all you need to do is just like spray your hair at night or in the morning tie a scarf like a silk or satin scarf and wear your satin bonnet and go to bed wake up the next morning losing it and you're good like you don't need to do anything again and you're good to go i love high bonds and i completely and totally recommend high bond as your diy styling in times like this the reasons i recommend it are okay first of all it's very easy to do it's so simple you can if you check my videos you see all, all you need to do is you can see i have a shoelace somewhere in here 
just use a shoelace tie and then style it the way you want so it's very simple to do it's low maintenance very low maintenance like i already said you don't need to do much just spray it and tie it that's it little or no manipulation very important at this point in time you don't need any hair that's going to stress you and of course it is stylish high bonds are very stylish i love 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 high bond and of course like i said before a high bond can last as long as two weeks yes you can carry your high bond for as long what am i even saying two weeks like for me i carry mine for two because i feel like oh my hair needs to be washed after two weeks but then if if push comes to shove and coronavirus has taken over and man you, you really can't think about your hair you can carry that high bond for as long as you want just make sure you always moisturize it daily and then maybe at least every week you can just like loosen the tapes moisturize inside thoroughly and put it back restyle it or something so that's something you could also consider doing and i am done with the third step so, so now let's go to number four so number four is this remember well you don't need to remember wear cornrows and wear wigs guys wigs are literally the best thing you can do for your hair this period that is like little to no manipulation so if you want to wear your wigs all you have to do is plate your hair in cornrows like after you've washed it and, con and deep conditioned it right then the next thing you will plate your hair in cornrows and wear your um uh what they call it your wig cap and then wear your wigs i also have a video on how i prepare my hair for wigs and how i prepare my hair for a bed so you see how what i do before i wear my wigs i like spray and then use oils in between your cornrow and then you can use butter at the tips of your hair wear your wig cap and then wear your wig your hair stays protected your little or no manipulation the, at the atmosphere like wind or snow or the harsh sun or wherever has no direct effect on your hair because the wig is protecting your hair and you're also wearing a wig cap so like wigs are like perfect for this season you know you're stuck at home you can get your stylist corona has <laughs> kept everybody at home and you really really can't start budging about your hair wigs are perfect if you cannot make cornrows yourself another thing you can do is to mat your hair what do i mean by mat your hair simple you could just like cut out a portion like maybe something like this and then plate it tightly you could just like make it like a big twist or a big um, plates just do something like that all the way big plates big plates big plates and then you have your plates and then you just pack it pack them up wear your wig cap and then wear your wigs and you're good to go trust me i think wigs are like what i would recommend for this period and i am done with number four and now we are on the fifth tip so my fifth tip is this remember to keep your hair moisturized every single day get yourself a spray bottle put some leave-in conditioner in it put a few drops of hair growth oil in it Put water, whisk, 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 shake, 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 and use it to spray your hair at least twice a day. You can spray it for more time, maybe three or four times, but at least twice a day. Use that on your hair regularly to make sure your hair stays moisturized and you don't lose hair, you don't lose moisture, and your hair stays healthy. So, guys, these are my five tips, and um, that's it. I'm done with this video. Don't forget to stay safe. Guys, please, let's all stay safe. Remember to wash your hands. Wash your hands for at least 20 minutes every time you wash, as regularly as possible. 20 minutes is as long as two happy birthdays. So in your mind, just think like, happy birthday to you twice. That is how long you should wash your hands. So guys, please stay safe. Please don't wear masks. Oh my God. Please stop wearing masks. You're not sub-zero. You're not scorpion. Why the hell are you wearing masks? You're only supposed to wear masks if you already have coronavirus. If I see you wearing masks, I'm going to assume you're already infected. So please don't wear masks. And um, stay safe. Social distancing. Say hi. No shaking and no hugging. Let's all stay. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this thing becomes a thing of the past very, very soon. And we can all move on with our lives. Please.
so guys that is all that's all i have for you today if you love my video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to invite your friends over share my video with your friends and i really appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you at the next one bye <laughs>